Hi, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to figure out the age of somebody or years of service if you just got their birthday. Also, this is something that'd be useful if you wanna see how long a person's worked in the company and do the years of service type of calculations. So it's not always easy to track this information. If you got an IT department that does it for you, great. But what if you're the only one doing it? Well, it's not actually that hard to do as long as you have Excel. And it's one of the greatest tools that you can use. So I'll show you two, maybe even three ways you can do this in Excel and in Power Query. So here I'm gonna show two examples of how we can get the age or duration. And one's gonna be formula based and the other one's gonna be using Power Query. Also closer to the end of the video, I'll show you some gotchas between both of them. So you have to kind of be aware of when you use one versus the other, what are some of the parameters that we have to be aware of and some of the caveats. So here's gonna be my first example of where we can get the age based off of somebody's birthday. And for this example, I use a start date based on when they started at, let's say a company. So for the birth date, what we can do is, there's actually two functions I can exhibit here, and I'll show you, I'll just call this one age one. So the first one is gonna be using a function called year frac. Uh, this one down here, click on that. The start date is going to be today's date, and the end date, comma, the end date will be this birth date here. And comma, the basis is going to be some options here. So you can choose the actual, Excel will determine the actual amount of days in the year. And here's the actual is 360, if it's assuming the 360 um, days in the year or 365. I'll just go with the actual, just in case there's leap years, right? Press enter. It's gonna say, I forgot to put in that closing parentheses. I'll accept this correction, yes. And I have my age here. Double click the fill handle to bring it down and you can see the age is there. Now then it does it in decimals. So if you don't like the decimals, you can round it. But another way we can do it and not have it with the decimals is using the date diff function. So I'll put this as H2. Another function we can use is called the date diff. So D-A-T-E, D-I-F. This is not one of these functions that show up in the help menu, but it is a function that is there in Excel. So what you do is do date diff. And here's kind of the reverse. We do the birth date, comma, and then today's date close parentheses. And our third argument, we want to indicate the year. So we have to put that in quotes. It's the letter Y, close quotes, close parentheses, press enter. And it actually doesn't give us our decimal. It just gives, it just rounds it down to our year. Double click the fill handle to bring that down. And you see here in a way, it actually just probably just truncates it. It doesn't really, you can say that it kind of rounds down, but you can probably more accurately say that it truncates. It just removes any decimals and it indicates the year there. So let's try the Power Query option. I'm just gonna duplicate this, Control and then left mouse key and just bring it over there so I duplicate it. You see the number two here. Let's delete this, these rows, select that, right click, delete. And we're gonna bring this into Power Query, go to data, go to from table and range. Excel is gonna look at the range and say, oh, this is the range I'm gonna turn into a table. My table does have headers, click OK. It's gonna bring up the Power Query editor. So in here, what we're gonna focus on is the start date. Let's say, for example, the start date of a person for the company. And we wanna see the years of service for this person. Let's change this to a shorter date. Select the columns and then right click, go to change type, and then select the date. And we have a shorter date. Let's go to add column, go to date, and then we're gonna select age. This age column looks weird because what Power Curry is doing is it represents this time in days, hours, minutes, and seconds. What we need to do is under the transform tab, go to duration. You can see if we do days, it's just to strip out those days there. Delete that step there. But what we want here is the years. So on that duration, we're gonna click total years. Now we've got our duration here. I'm gonna call this years of service. This is the duration that they've, they belong with the company. And if we wanted to round it, we can go and round and we'll round down and we'll get rounded down to the years of service. Bring it back to the sheet, do close and load. Let's load it back to the same sheet. I'm gonna just load it back to the same, same sheet here. Select existing workbook here, click here, click okay. And we got our years of service. So as I mentioned earlier, you have to be aware of how uh, the difference is calculated between the year frac and uh, this function, the date to function, and when you do it in Power Query, and just kind of set those expectations up front when you're uh, showing this kind of data. So let's show, for example, let's make this a, another copy. I'm gonna make another copy, Control, and then left mouse click, and bring this in also into Power Query. I'm just delete these rows, select that, right click, delete, 
bring this into Power Query, select in there in the range, data from table and range. My table does have headers, click OK. And here I'm gonna do the same thing I did in the other example. Go to add column, go to date, age. It's gonna add the age column. And here I'm gonna transform this to go to duration, total years, and you can see the total years here. Let's bring it back into my first sheet. Go close and load, close and load two. I'm gonna bring it into this sheet here, existing sheet. Let's click here and let's put it over here. Click OK. And it's going to bring that in. So now you see that there is a difference there. And why is that a difference? And that's because of the way it's calculating how many days of the year in the year. So this is this the number one here is assuming the actual days in the year. Now the way Power Query is doing it by default is estimating 365 days in the year. You can see that if we've changed this, we instead of having one and we select three, press enter, double click the fill on to bring that down. And even here in the rounding, it gets a little bit off. And I'm sure some smart people out there uh, probably have some good explanations for this. But you know, if you're looking at age, you're probably only going to round to the age, to the number, not really to the decimals. You're probably going to round down. Uh, people probably like that a little bit better. So that's one thing to think about when you're trying to determine the age or the duration, years of service for somebody in terms of the functions versus Power Query. Now, figuring out someone's age or years of service in Excel for one person pretty easy to do. But if you got a long list or you do this on a recurring basis, it'd be easier if you can find some function or formula or do it in some kind of automated way. And using Excel, either with the functions or formulas or Power Query will help you make this task a lot easier. Once you got this set up, it's pretty easy to maintain. To see more videos like this, click the banner at the end.